Thank you for joining me, liking, sharing, subscribing. I really do appreciate all your viewership. Thank you so much. For those that would like a private reading, my email is listed below this video. Okay, Nine of Swords. Six of Wands. The Chariot. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Okay, starting off at the top left, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords can denote anxiety, woe, worry, sleepless nights, insomnia, um, restlessness. There could be a lot on your plate this month, definitely. And I think it's due to demanding work schedules, potentially. Um, working hard at a lot of things, putting your head down this month. So there is possibly restlessness, um, you know, unease, going to sleep, loneliness, even for some of you that are lonely and in a relationship, wanting love, or perhaps have separated from your partner. Um, there could be a lot of, um, you know, sort of this, this phase that you're going through where you're upset, you feel lonely, your emotions feel heightened this month. Um, you know, you do have the sign of cancer here. So there is water present um, for you this month. So this is emotions. Your emotions are running high this month. <clears throat> It could be because of something that's happened between you and a significant other. The Nine of Swords, uh, it, it really is about this having this air energy here and feeling uncertain about something, despaired. There could be some of this happening this month. If it's in regards to work, I feel as though there's a lot of, um, there's someone that's placing a lot of demand on you. Um, you know, someone that's very demanding, someone that's wanting you to, you know, work miracles for them in some aspect. So this can make you somewhat, um, you know, you know, not yourself because you're too busy um, put laying out all this energy into someone else, and that's, but it's, it's going to drain you this month. So just be careful. There's not too much one-sided generosity that's happening this month and not too many people are taking advantage of you. Um, or it could just be that you're so busy and you're not going to be sleeping well. You've got a lot, a lot of things to plan. And if this is a case, make sure you buy yourself a book, a diary or something to write things down. Um, otherwise, you, you will get caught up in this and it will affect your sleep. Um, and maybe you need to concentrate on physical fitness. Um, if you haven't done so, there's a card here that talks about movement. Well, two cards, I should say, the Six of Wands and the Chariot that talk about movement. So it's important that if you are lacking sleep and you do feel restless, to exert your energy where you can through exercise, meditation, getting outdoors, etc. Now, the next card over you have is the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory, notoriety, fame, recognition, um, inspiring a lot of other people. Um, I see a lot of people looking to you this month, as you can see with these cards here. So whether you're leading a team this month, uh, whether you're going, you're really getting in the driver's seat, so to speak, and really working hard at something, leading a team, inspiring people, putting your work out to the world. If it's an, at work, if it's a project or a, um, a corporation, a company that you work for, there could be a lot of recognition for some sort of work that you contribute. Um, you know, with your creativity or you know your intelligence. Your ingenuity it will be looked upon favorably it could be a it could be a a, um, a raise or a promotion because you are working on finances and working to develop your skills <clears throat> so this could be it um, you could be going somewhere where there's well-known or famous people so whether this is a premiere an event a gala night a film school uh, you know, watching celebrities, watching a certain event, watching a certain ceremony. I feel like you'll be watching people that are, you know, that have stars around them. So there could be celebrities, there could be stars, Hollywood stars, um, or people just very, very well known. It could be a gala night and you find that you meet the mayor or the CEO of a large company or corporation and you just feel like these people are really well known. You could be in sort of that environment. But I think um, there's movement here and there's progress, which is good. This shows growth and this shows moving forward. So you are growing either within a company very much so, very favorably with the six of ones. Or there's, um, uh, you know, a crown, a wreath of victory that's going to be placed on your head um, due to your contributions. So that's very, very good. 
In a relationship aspect, the Six of Wands indicates victory with a fire sign potentially. Some of you could be dealing with either a Cancer, an Aries specifically, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. There's going to be victory, uh, feel, you know, sitting on your high horse, victory in love, feeling really happy, feeling really proud, um, feeling really grateful where you are in your relationships, that other people will sort of be inspired and look to your relationship and maybe even feel envious about it um, on some sort of level. For some that are single and looking, there's potential to be meeting someone uh, at an event of some kind. It could be at a famous event or a very large event where a lot of people go and a lot of people know about this event. Uh, this is possibly could even be a charity sponsored event or gala night and um, you will definitely have a lot of people looking at you and noticing you um, with the way you're dressed with your contributions even you could have a ceremony or a tribute made um, in your name so this could be uh, something that's coming in which is very very special moving on you have the chariot again all about movement and progress so there's two cards that indicate um, movement on horseback or in a vehicle so some of you um, you know this could be significant you might be horseback riding you might be buying a new car um, you might be driving a lot you might be taking a trip somewhere where there's a lot of driving and movement or you may start um, being more on the road at your work or get a company car there's something to do with um, movement mobility acceleration drive now, in the work sense, this is really, uh, really amazing. This shows you're working towards your calling. So something's happening this month that's purposed for you, that's predestined for you in some way and might bring you fame. It might bring you recognition. It's going to balance you out, though, and I think you'll very much enjoy whatever this new venture is that you're starting. It could be that you've already started it, but this shows mobility. So this shows that there's definitely things that are moving and progressing for you. But the chariot is the driver of success. This is the person that's in their own driver's seat of their own life. They've got command. There's an emotion, you know, is this a sign of cancer? So there's an emotional attachment to some, something that you're already doing. It could be a project at work. It could even be a person if this is in work. There's two people here, so you may find yourself a new friend, meet someone new at work, potentially could be romantic. Um, and you'll balance each other out a lot. This is like the yin and the yang, the masculine and feminine, um, very complementary sphinxes, but one can't go without the other. So again, it could be a reminder that balance is needed if this is what you're lacking, especially with the Nine of Swords here. If it's restlessness or it's imbalancing of thoughts, you know, you need to contrast between the light and the dark. You're not always going to have positive, beautiful thoughts and you're not always going to have negative, horrible thoughts. So you need to find yourself a happy medium here. This could be fickleness. So, but I think for the most part, the chariot is awesome. It's amazing. It's movement. It's progress into something, really driving, really succeeding at it and, and taking the reins of it. So you're... um. You'll have jurisdiction or accountability over something at work maybe. As I said, if it isn't a relationship, I feel like there's movement in the relationship. This could be a holiday you take together. You could be traveling out to see someone. They could be traveling out to you, going on a road trip together. This could also be that you might meet someone famous or someone very well-known with a really good reputation. It's well-known in, in the community or in the state, in your city you know, in your country or even the world. Someone very successful potentially with the chariot here. There's important people. There's very important people around this month. You know, you have the emperor, you have the chariot, you've got the six of wands. It's almost, it could be like a VIP event of some kind. But I think there's motivation here. It's going to motivate you. So, you know, if you're into publishing or writing or screenwriting or books or film or history or fashion, whatever your passion is here with the chariot, you, you'll excel at it. You know, you've got the stars here. There could be a, 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 um, an intense focus on astrology or planetary transits this month for you. That might have something to do with how you're feeling maybe here. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, you do have the six of six of pentacles here. This is generosity. This is finances. Some of you will definitely be either um, working hard to save, or perhaps filling in some debts. 
um, perhaps you know contacting some creditors and so, or some financial institutions regarding finances whether you're asking to be lent money or whether you're giving money back um, or putting money back into your savings into your credit accounts etc um, again it's all about a balance here with the with the scales this could be a prominent Libra around you as well but it's asking for help so someone's definitely asking for help whether it's you or whether it's someone around you could need the financial help or if it's not them if it's not an earth sign um, then it's you needing the finances you needing the the, the physical help but I think for the most part, whoever is in, in the position to lend you money or lend you, you know, whatever someone is asking for, or if you're lending someone, I think they're, got, they're really big on fairness and they will repay the debt. Um, the, the, you know, it, it should go, you know, you shouldn't fret about it too much. I think you'll definitely sort the finances out and, and, and the money uh, because you do have the scales and the scales are balanced. It can be one-sided generosity, but I think for the most part, it shows there's kindness and compassion. You might be surprised by you know who this person is and what they're willing to lend you or give to you or how generous they're being. Maybe someone very important around you is being very generous or helpful. This uh, The same applies if uh, you're in a relationship. Regardless of what sign, there's generosity and balance that's happening here. For some, you could be de um, meeting a Libra. You do have swords here and you do have the scales so this could take place, as I said, there could be a charity event or some sort of um, opportunity coming up for you to repay the favor or ask for funds, um, etc. It could even be an asset borrowing someone's car for a, for, a, for a while or them borrowing your car maybe. Uh, you do have the Eight of Pentacles. This is all about hard work, working on your craft. And you do have fire, so the sign of a Leo person or an Aries Cancer could be particularly important for you this month. But um, I love the fact that you've got your head down, you're working hard, you're continuing on your craft. I feel like there's a lot of ideas that, that are coming to you. A lot of new ideas that you're going to put either to an existing project, to an existing piece of work, or a new piece of work here. Um, for some, this, is, this could be um, indicative of higher learning. Because it is a craftsman, this is an artisan, and he's working on his product, his service. So whether you have your own business, you're either creating more products, designing more jewelry, designing or servicing um, more people, more products, etc. Um, wholesaling different, uh, you know, types of products. The Eight of Pentacles is also about working on yourself and higher learning. So it can be that you might enroll into a university or a degree um, or a diploma of some kind. And I think you'll really th uh, thrive there. You've got the eight here, so this is abundance. It's all about a circulation of ideas, and you can see they're sort of they'll be on display for people to see. So I feel someone might notice your idea. Someone is going to notice what it is that you're doing here, and it's someone important or perhaps quite influential. If this is in a relationship, I feel like there's a lot of hard work that's happening. And I think it's helping the relationship to grow and move and develop as seen by the other cards. You know, it's not easy. We do see this man working on his own. There is no one helping him here. So for some of you, there could be that you feel it's it's one-sided. It could be one-sided. As I mentioned, this can be one-sided generosity. So there could be a one-sided situation here where you're, you feel like you're doing more of the work than the other person. But I think in hindsight, it's it's amazing to say that you're applying yourself because the pentacles do rule the physical realm. So this shows that physically your relationship is becoming stronger. You're physically becoming more connected emotionally, mentally, physically, in just so many aspects. So that's um that's really special. I, I, I feel like you will be really busy with work. And there could be important people um, being quite demanding of you, demanding a lot of your time, your resources, your effort, your finances, your energy. So just be prepared for that. Make sure, as I said, there is that even balance because, you know, you're an empath and you feel you feel so much for other people and, and you want to take on their woes and worries and, and, and help them in any way you can, which is, of course, very admirable. But, it, you know, make sure you don't forget about you along the way. Now, you do have the Emperor here as well. The Emperor can be an Aries in particular um, that will be in close liaison with you this month or a fire sign maybe. If it's in a relationship aspect, I feel like there could be some sort of dominance. Um, there could be someone who feels they need or want the upper hand in their relationship. 
I feel it's someone that's trying to protect, possess, or um, really put it over you in some way. Now, it doesn't have to be a relationship partner. It can be any of your relationships, acquaintances, friendships, um, parent relationships, etc. This this person could be a, a father figure, most definitely, yes. The emperor can also be someone who just has this type of fire energy around them that you know they like to have the last word. You know, you know who this person is. They could definitely be around you at work and in love. But I think for the most part, they want to guide and shelter you, which may come across as being overprotective or overpossessive, and it may put you off a little bit. But I think for the most part, their intentions are good. For others, I feel like you might be um, feeling like you're not getting through to this person. So whether this is a partner, a spouse, a sister, a brother, a boss, um, I feel like it could be that you, you feel like you're at a dead end and that no matter all the hard work you do, you're just going unnoticed. But no, you've got these two cards behind you here. So you will be noticed. Um, they will be acknowledged, maybe not right away, maybe in time. But they will be your hard work. So that's why I say don't devote too much of yourself. But the emperor can be someone, uh, a strong fire in their chart that's really, that's around you, that might help you in some way as well. They might be very benevolent for you in your studies. This could be a new teacher. Um, the emperor can also be someone of higher authority. And we see this barren land around him. So that's why I feel like they, this person could be somewhat standoffish or colder towards you, whether this is a boss um, or someone you have a relationship with or someone that's trying to possess or put it over you this month. How much your energy, your time, your effort is worth and who's willing to, you know, reciprocate that and who's not. As I said, there is this barren land and desert. You know, you could be driving through the desert. Something like this maybe as well. For some of you, relationships, as I said, are really really moving at a, at a beautiful pace. Um, growing closer to people and them helping you. I think seeing a more generous side to someone is really going to um, arouse those, you know, those beautiful emotions you have.